Okay, so today we're going to take a look at this, the Husqvarna A2400 all-purpose axe. It's a composite handle axe. It's a four pound head, about a 28 inch handle, so it's kind of like a, a short handle faller's axe or a felling axe. Um, the steel is C60, which is kind of a Scandinavian 1060 high carbon steel. And uh, it comes with this nice carry handle, as you can see pops right off. <clears throat> a couple things I like about it is it has a nice hammer pull on the back and it has an overstrike guard. Um, I like the orange color because then it's just harder to lose. It's a little beefed up around here. It's a hollow handle and I just put some grip tape on here. So I have this uh, spruce a log right here that I'm just going to chop at a little bit and we'll see how good it works. We'll just take some of these branches off quick. <clears throat> okay, so right here. It's about a 12, 14 inch diameter down spruce. Um, it's pretty green, even though it's on the ground, you can see it kind of just fell over. Um, so it's a pretty green log. So we'll check this out. Okay, so this is another spruce. Uh, let's see, it's about four inches in diameter. So I'm just going to fall it. I'll just take some of these off. And it's, uh, I mean, it's dead. Might still be a little green. Let's see how quick we can do it. Mm -hmm. 
So the cool thing I like about this axe too, with all that weight, you can just hold it right up here to knock little branches off. So, I'm gonna take this one down. Pretty weak. This is dead. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, this is about four inch in diameter. Not a huge challenge, but whatever. Good. So this last one can't really tell what it is, but it's probably a spruce. It's probably pretty rotten on the inside. It's about eight inch in diameter, so maybe more typical of what you'd use this for. So let's see how this works. Okay, so in this video we are talking about this axe, Husqvarna. I'm going to compare it to a similar, pretty common axe, the Fisker's 28 inch chopping axe. Um, so, it's not a totally comparable test. This is a two pound head. That one's a four pound. But, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. So we'll start with this lighter one. And, uh, how many chops? 20? I'll do 20 chops. I can probably get through it in 20, but... Okay. Ready? Yep. Count. 16, 17, you got through it in 18. Was that 18? 18. I got through it in 18. So I guess we'll stop over here, the other one. That one is easier. You just have to put like more. The small one? It. There's ice growing on this. One thing I don't like about both these is how slippery the handle gets when wet. And I am wearing gloves just because it's kind of cold out, so. We'll try and break 20. Ready? Mm -hmm. Fifteen. Fifteen. Pretty comparable. But I think the other one I burned less, uh, I got less winded, but I did chop with this one second. Okay, so I have this kind of half dead, half rotten spruce here. A lot of the small stuff would be good to start fire, uh, kindling. Um, but I'm going to chop this tree down, so I'll just start.
Yep. It'll come down pretty easy, haven't it? Good. Yep. Is it going to fall towards me? No, I can't push it. Could it be rotten? Mm-hmm. Ready? This I'm... is an easy way to chop a tree down. Boom. Cool. 